This program is about counting lines in a file. And if you've been following my videos at all, you know five uh, videos ago I did another uh, program about counting lines in a file. And you're probably thinking, this guy is a total obsessive compulsive personality. He's like Monk. But no, that's not true. This actually counts them in a different way that I found incredibly useful and the problem is that Microsoft downloaded about 24 updates recently and my old version of the program stopped working so I actually had to dig it up to find it where it was and if we go to LCD which doesn't stand for liquid crystal display it stands for line count directory it's a console program called line count and if we do a dir you can see by the EXE date that the, the last time I compiled this was March 1st, 2007. And I rewrote it and uh, compiled it as line count rather than LC01. I actually managed to get the dog to stop barking for about 30 seconds, so hopefully it'll continue long enough, but I doubt it. So if we look at the line count, console application, you notice one of the main things it is it has a string uh, array of args, and it gets an argument from the uh, from essentially allegedly from typing in the program. So if I said line count and put an argument after it, it would get this arg0 argument. But we're actually going to do it in another way that's much more useful from uh, Windows Explorer, which is the main reason I wanted this console application rather than the Windows Form application we saw five videos ago. So one of the first things we do with the argument after we get it is an append uh, .txt. And usually these are txt files, so it's txt, dot txt, dot txt. But we don't care about that as long as the two file names look different. And then I do a stream reader uh, open text on the input file, and a stream writer uh, open text that creates the output file. And then I simply loop through all the lines in the input file and I have a count variable that starts at 1 and keeps auto incrementing as we go through the while loop and I prepend this count variable to the the line in this temporary dot text file we created and then I write out to the console that the file was copied which actually we don't usually see the way I execute it then I close the input file and close the output file and this used to be the whole program and the reason for this is I did everything other than this in an external .bat file and if we look at the old .bat file what it did was it ran the line count program with the argument we passed to the .bat file so it passed it on then it opened notepad on the created file which has a .txt after the end of it and then when we close the notepad it erased the uh, temporary file that had the line numbers in front of the lines and this used to work great but since the Microsoft updates it puts quotation marks around this file name so no matter what I do I only notepad the original file I don't notepad the created temporary file so the way the new uh, lc.bat looks as I just pass the parameter to line count and that line count have every, handle everything including opening the temporary file in the uh, in notepad and uh, uh, deleting the file afterwards and the fact I both open it in notepad and delete it afterwards from line count creates an interesting problem from the point of view of uh, of multiprocessing and race conditions and that kind of thing. 
Well, basically the way we uh, open it in notepad is we use a process.start with notepad.exe as the first parameter and our temporary file name as the second parameter uh, but rather than just using this by itself we pass a return value to a process variable called p and the reason we do that is we want to do a p dot wait for input idle which waits until the uh, process has received all the input and then a p dot wait for exit which waits until we close the notepad <coughs> and the reason we do that <coughs> is that uh, when we spawn this process it becomes totally asynchronous to the line count process and we'd fall through, we'd spawn the process, fall through and then say delete the temporary file name and we may well delete the temporary file before we start editing it so we just uh, end up with an error so the wait for input idle and the wait for exit are really critical in synchronizing these two processes and then we just do a file dot delete to delete the temporary file so we totally emulate the uh, processing of the uh, original bat file in these lines and if it fails at all of course we send a message to the console that said input file does not exist and the reason I want to write this as a console program that receives an argument is I actually want to start it using a uh, Windows Explorer right clicking on, on it and then saying uh, send to for instance if I want to count the lines in this C-sharp program I can right click and do an open with and choose default program and then unclick the always use selected program and do a browse and go up to uh, etc and select lc.bat and the reason I use a bat file rather than the exe directly is for some reason with the exe directly it doesn't show the name it just shows the icon so you have no idea what you're opening it with so I needed a, a bat file just to show the name and then I do an open and uh, click OK and you'll notice in the file it has all the lines of the file nicely prepended with the uh, count numbers so if you get an error compiling and it says line 15 and you have no idea what line 15 is you can go down and look in this listing and find line 15 that was actually the original use of this and if you look at the uh, directory at this point when we're still looking at notepad there's a unicode 02.cs.txt temporary file but as soon as we uh, close out this notepad that gets deleted so it's not there anymore so we don't have a bunch of files lying around that just have numbers prepended to them well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe